Yo, what's up, my YouTube fam? Bam! I uh, decided to break out the Sleesh buoy today. Been handling the Sleesh family of knives, or Swish, or Swash, or Swash, whatever you want to call it. I don't really care. Uh, but yeah, I've been handling those since I got my Techno 2 and my Chef back from the Neves. Also got a few other things from the Neves. This is a Microtech theme video. If you haven't caught on to that, it's because you're not looking at the screen. Wake up! Uh, also, they sent me this freaking awesome Kube uh, Ant Eater S35BN. Freaking sweet knife. And I don't know what Jared or Kara or whoever did it sharpened this thing with. But, it I mean, they must have sharpened it on the, uh, on the uh, wings of an angel or something. Because it is wow. I mean, wow. And it's a recurve. So, that's saying something. Jared must be, uh, he must be up in his game trying to uh he's trying to uh to do me in on the on the sharpening he's trying to one up me and he's doing a good job of it <clears throat> i sent him a few knives that were sharpened really well i, I spent some time on them because i wanted to send him something that i could be proud of and so when he sent that man he really freaking did it up so uh, we'll crack the cap on one uh my buddy carl hartunian across the street methos 3.0 on instagram go check him out he sent me uh sent me he gave me this beer glass and it's really cool i just dropped that down in there so we'll uh we'll start this video off with a with a, a little crack cap here for uh for methos 3.0 carl hartunian my homeboy Corey glasser up in jersey representing the uh the small knife capital of the world Mr. EDC Dragonfly, because of his regulations and all, having to step over into New York on a daily basis working. And of course, my boys from the West Coast, Scott, Big Boy Williams, Akuma Sedge, my homeboy Mark. Man, these, some, these are some cool dudes. I dripped a little, uh, little stuff on there. It's all good, it's just beer. It'll make them better, right? Uh, they are the ones that, that graced me with these Microtechs. Uh, some of them came by way of Chicago, Chicago, uh, from the Neves. This one is mine, and I dropped it in here just because I, I felt like I needed to. This is the one that Scott gave me, and then he sent me the box, too, like a, like a true friend. <clears throat> so you guys already know about this one. This is my, this is my freaking sweet OTF, Microtech Ultratech Spartan with the Gladius Blade in L-Max. Freaking amazing i put another edge on it last night i don't know how many times he's sharpened it or if he has it looked almost brand new when i got it so uh, if you guys know me you know i like to sharpen and i'm not a fan of fatigue steel so when i get a new knife i usually put a few edges on it just so that i know that <clears throat> any uh high speed grinding or anything like that that's burnt the edge up is is gone so uh, that's one of the microtechs that's sitting on the table and we got a few more for you here these are just going to be my first impressions. This is not going to be, I'm going to try to not make it a super long video so that my wife doesn't get mad at me because she's probably ready to go to bed. Uh, but first one up, so if I can read the label here, this is the SOCOM Satin Standard. <clears throat> the auto, there's an auto in here that belongs to, I believe, Scott. Some of these belong to Akuma Sedge. I think most of them do. And then uh, one or two of them belong to uh, Scott. This is a standard. This is my first uh, my first real experience with, with Microtech. I've handled a couple Microtechs in the past, but not a ton. And I'm so, so impressed. I cannot wait to get a SOCOM Elite of my own. I love them. The Tonto is amazing. The Edge is amazing. I love the swedge on the back, that thick tip. I just, I love everything about it so far. It's been such a, such a sweet, sweet knife, uh, especially these. And here's another thing <laughs> I need to address. I didn't really know anything about uh, Marfion up until, you know, recently. So I, I didn't even really take the time to read it. I just kind of glanced at it and then went into looking at the knife. I think at one point I was saying like Marifone or mar Marifone or whatever I said. It is Marfione. <laughs> so I can't remember how badly I butchered the name, but it is Marfione. I have been told. Uh, so let me, you know, repeat that a few times in my head and get it right. But yeah, so, uh, but the SOCOM Elites, he, he apparently designed the SOCOM 
and I've been really, really impressed with it. Like I said, I have had a couple of them in hand. I think I handled a couple Microtech OTFs and then one SOCOM that belonged to Steve prior to these last couple of weeks. And then my boys from the West Coast apparently are representing Microtech hard and heavy out there because Scott and Acuminus are both freaking just Microtech heavy, dude. I think uh, somebody posted the other day, uh, Scott did a, a video of He's got a microtech drawer at work. Uh, he cranks up the, the speakers and jams his music and plays with his microtech OTFs. And uh, that's how he starts his day out there. <clears throat> and somebody had posted the other day, he posted the video of uh, sometimes you got to check the microtech drawer just to make sure they're all still there. And somebody commented on it and said, damn, wouldn't it be nice to have a microtech drawer? So uh, those dudes are doing it right out there, man. So, uh, but that's, I believe, don't give me, you know, it, I'm sorry if I'm getting this wrong. I got it from the Neves. I got secondhand information. I believe that one belongs to Acuminus. And I believe this little sexy auto right here belongs to Scott. If I've got that backwards, I apologize, boys. Uh, I played around with this one earlier. And when I tell you this thing hits like a Mack truck, dude, when you deploy this thing, bam! Dude, I mean, it flies out there. And I love this blade i like tontos but man i love this blade shape even more this has been just a gorgeous gorgeous knife to handle i've been messing around with it a little bit earlier not a whole whole lot because i didn't want to ruin the first impressions but uh, and i did go ahead and open that box off camera because i'm running out of space on my phone and my wi-fi has been down for several weeks and so I don't have the ability to uh, back up my phone and store everything to the cloud. I got plenty of cloud storage available, but my phone's almost full, so I'm having to be cautious about what I'm uh, what I'm recording. So I did record off camera. I mean, record open off camera, and then decided I would do the uh, first impressions on camera just so I could reserve some space here and make sure I got enough room to do this. But this freaking auto is awesome. This stone washed. Uh, finish on here is beautiful. Look at that. Socom Elite Auto. Just a beautiful knife, man. I love it. And it is 204P. And dude, it freaking just fires so hard. If you're not careful, like if you're not if you're not holding on to this knife, it will jump out of your hand. I mean it is it fires with authority. That spring is no joke. You can see it jar my arm when it when it fires. I I'm in love with it. I cannot wait to get a SOCOM. I don't know. Uh, I don't know which one I want. Whether I want an auto or or a standard, just you know, regular SOCOM. But I something about this auto that just I love that firing button too. It's just awesome. But the ergos are, are great. I actually, you know, a lot of people complain about the tip down thing. I actually kind of like it with bigger knives because when you pull it out of your pocket, when you reach in and pull it out, I mean, it's it's where it needs to be in your hand. Longer knives tend to benefit from the tip down carry option. Same thing with the military. A lot of people complain about it, but I like it. But yeah, this uh, this auto, and I don't know if you can tell right here, but it is like a green uh, coating on there and it is gorgeous. And it seems that every one of these knives that I get from these dudes is brand new. So I'm, I'm having to be super cautious with them and not be uh, not be messing around with them too much. I don't want to make anybody angry. So, But uh, I'm sure Scott and Acumenus wouldn't be super mad with me, but I definitely don't want to test the waters there. All right, so let's break into this bad boy right here. This is another Marfion. <laughs> A Marfion Custom here. I got two Marfion Customs on the table. And uh, by the way, the action on these two, obviously, since this one is an auto and this one is a standard, are completely different. But what I was noticing earlier, the action on the customs compared to the standard is insane. The production model versus the customs, there is, I mean, there, it's, there's no competition there. The action on the customs is so much just, just smoother. I mean, just everything about it. It's almost got this, uh, I've got a Sabenza here. Uh, that belongs to KME user and uh, it, it kind of when you're closing the customs it kind of reminds me of that that hydraulic feel of the Sabenza how it's got that just enough resistance uh, it will still drop they will still drop but if you let off the lock bar 
and you just kind of close them, it has just enough resistance where it just feels amazing. I like having that. I don't like a super just fall shut action. Spyderco uh, has a lot of that fall shut action, but and not, not saying that's a, a bad thing. I love it. But it's just something about that just enough resistance to give you that real, so, so that you can feel the smoothness. You can't really feel the smoothness if it's just dropping free, which, and this one will do the same thing. It will drop down, but it's just, watch how smooth it drops. It's just so smooth and silky. I love it. Um, but yeah, that's <clears throat> the, the difference in the action between the custom and the, and the production is incredible. And I love this blade shape. Like I said, I do like Tonto's, but if you if you made me choose between the Tonto and this one, I, I would choose this one all day long. And look at that, look at that Damascus, man, how beautiful that is. Isn't that not amazing? Look at those flats, how the pattern changes directions on the flats. I mean, that's, that's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. <clears throat> absolutely love it. And there's your, let me get it in frame here. Marfion Socom Elite. I'm assuming that's the number, 15. Um, the Cumnus Edge was telling me that uh, there's only 20 made, I believe. Uh, if I'm getting that wrong, please correct me. Uh, but I believe he said there's only 20 made of each one of his customs of each model. So I think that 015 must be the uh, the, the number of which one. I'm not 100% sure on that. But if I'm, if I'm wrong, please correct me. Let me, uh, if you guys don't mind, just for one second. This one's uh this one's to Carl Hartunian. Uh huh. And that is a <clears throat> that's a Voodoo Ranger Juicy Haze. I love that IPA. Well, yeah. So you guys have already seen this one, but it has quite enough beauty that it is well worth another look. So we're gonna break into this one. And the packaging on these things amazing. You get the small little medallion there on the zipper, and of course we talked about the uh, the metal Velcro patch that you get. And it comes inside this beautiful fleece lined pouch. And then inside this, uh, like a microfiber bag. <clears throat> it's a beautiful, beautiful knife. So it deserves another look for sure. But I'm telling you guys, <laughs> it's unreal. And there again, we've got that number there. There's 005, which I'm, I don't know why it's a three digit number. If there's, uh, if there's only 20, made. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just a thing they do, but the mirror polish and that action it almost seems assisted if you didn't know any better if you weren't really a knife person and i handed you an assisted knife and then you saw this one open you'd go wow is that assisted too but it is not it is oh so smooth oh so smooth and that abalone with that uh with that titanium that blue titanium liner around the that lining around the abalone is incredible I can't get enough of this knife. I bet I've pulled this thing out and looked at it 500 times since I've had it here. And I'm sure that a Caminus can't wait to get it. <clears throat> but look at that mirror polish on that blade, man. It is incredible. It, when you get something like this in hand that is this gorgeous and this awesome to look at, it's, man, it's, it's just, it's hard not to continually look at it and continually pull it out. And those hand rubbed flats, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous example of what you can do when you're uh, when you're at the top of your game when it comes to craftsmanship it is beautiful but yeah so that's the abalone um <clears throat> forgive me for not knowing uh if there's a name on the other one i probably should look in there in the in the pouch and see if that little card's well no the card wouldn't be in there because it's way bigger than than that it's in the box uh, like i said these came from the neves not directly from scott and humanist so I don't know a ton about that one. I just know it's a Damascus uh, Marfion Custom SOCOM. So I, I, it didn't come with the box, just this pouch here. So I don't know everything that I probably need to know about it. I will learn before I do my next video on them. Like I said, this is just my first impressions, but what I can tell you is I love it. It's beautiful. And there again, looks brand new. Uh, and that Damascus blade is gorgeous. <clears throat> so that is pretty much going to wrap this one up. Uh, I think the proper thing to do is to get these two, or uh, three rather, out. And, and uh, oh no, I'm sorry, four. I, I keep miscounting here. I've got four uh, SOCOMs here. We'll get them all out and lay them down here and let you take a look at them side by side.
I feel like that's the proper thing to do with this type of awesomeness. Get it out here and let's take a look at it. <clears throat> so excuse me for not doing that as I was removing them from the boxes. I should have been laying them down so we could uh, gaze at their wonder. I'm gonna lay it down y'all. And then we got one more. Let me pop this bad boy out. Here we go. Here's on this box here, we've got OD Green Apocalyptic Standard Auto. So I'm assuming that that finish on this one is called the Apocalyptic Finish on this blade. And just listen to this. Man, that firing action is incredible. So I'm assuming that's the Apocalyptic Finish on there and the OD Green. But look at that, man. It's it's hard to find a better looking knife. You know, I've, I've never really <clears throat> paid too much attention to the Microtech brand in the past. And I guess that comes with the fact that I started my knife endeavors as a Spyderco guy. And so it makes it kind of, it, it makes it kind of surprising when you, when you discover something like this and you discover the vast array of different types and styles that you can get the SOCOM in and how amazing and freaking awesome they are. And it makes it, uh, it's really eye opening. I started looking at other brands recently I started looking at, at Kaisers and Microtechs and uh, Hinderers and uh, Striders, and it's eye-opening when you start seeing the quality and what people are able to do. Uh, most people would tell you, oh, well, I mean, you can only build a knife so many different ways, but I, I would have to beg to differ on that, man. You, there's a lot of different designs out there. I mean, just look at the design, the designs, ele the elements, uh, you know, from this one to that one, and, and they're both uniquely beautiful in their own way. And it's, there, Steve makes a good point all the time when people say, oh, well, this knife's not good for this, or this knife's not good for that, or oh, this knife's not, uh, the, the tip's not thick enough. Steve always uh, has a, a way of putting it in perspective by saying each knife has a different role. Each knife has a different purpose. You have to look at what the knife is designed to do. Every knife is not just designed to cut things. Some of them, excuse me, some of them are designed for more heavy duty prying and, and lateral force. Some of them are made for slicing. Some of them are made for, for stabbing, you know, and you got to look at what the knife's made for. So, uh, it's, it's pretty amazing to see the different design elements that go into different knives. And as I've branched out into different brands, I've noticed that <clears throat> there's a lot of brands out there and a lot of, a lot of makers that have some pretty amazing designs that you don't really if you're stuck in this one little box, like I was with Spyderco, you don't think about all these different elements and, and the way that they come together. So branching out here lately has been a good thing for me. And I really appreciate all the people that have helped me do that, like Mark and Scott and the Neves and Steve and everybody else that sent me all and KME user, all these people that have sent me these amazing knives to check out. I really, really do appreciate it. It has been a wonderful experience and I hope that it continues. I've also got to give a shout out to a new friend that I've made, Long Island Knife Guy, uh, L-I-K-G, Long Island Knife Guy on Instagram. I believe he has a YouTube channel as well and he is a freaking awesome dude who has a killer collection and he's about to start sending me a few things to check out as am I gonna be sending him a few things to check out. So <clears throat> look forward to that in the future and uh, we'll lay the old sleesh down here too. I'm going to continue saying sleesh. I know it's swish, but I'm going to continue saying sleesh just because I uh, that's the way it rolls off my tongue and I, I'm too stubborn to change it. So uh, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you to Scott and Acuminous Edge for, for these awesome, awesome knives and letting me check them out. Like I said, this is just my first impressions. I've gotten them out and played with them a little bit. Uh, but there's going to be more to come with these. I'm going to gonna mess around with them. I'm not going to be carrying these customs. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm allowed to carry these other ones. I'm going to find out. I believe Acuminous Edge said I could carry this one, but I'm going to, I'm going to ask him again and I don't know about the auto. So, uh, KME user told me I couldn't borrow this one unless I did carry and use it. So, uh, but yes, yeah, so I'm going to talk to him about this and if they give me the green light to do some carrying and, and, uh, and sharpening and cutting with those, then that's what I'll do. But if not, then we'll fondle them and, and still do some great videos and reviews on them after I've had them here for a couple days. So uh, that's pretty much it on this one. Guys and gals, I love you. Another toast. This one's gonna be a toast to Long Island Knife Guy. I love you guys and gals, I am out. <laughs>